Alright. Welcome back to the uh, Midwest Sports Show. Hello. My name Hello. is uh, <laughs> Chris Stotts. Wow, that might be the most uh, professional <laughs> start we've ever done, but this yeah. is the uh, the Midwest Sports Show uh, Sunday Night Edition. Yeah, I, I know where we are for sure. Been waiting all week. Gene, I've been waiting all week for Sunday night for That's the Midwest right. Sports That's Show. That's right. Oh, what and 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 uh, what a perfect day this! I know we're in St. Louis, right? Good job, Brewers. You're correct. We are uh, at uh, outside Bush Stadium. Yeah. Well, not, hey, not, St. Louis, how's it feel? You they'll be in Wrigley this week. Yeah, not uh, not not George Bush Stadium. Mm. See a lot of people on uh, tweet, a lot of Cardinals fans on Twitter. Yeah. When they talk about like how much they love Bush Stadium, uh, B U S H. Hey, did they? They got a sell. They, there's some empty seats there, aren't there? Uh, yeah. Where, did Especially you see yeah. them? Well, I mean, I, I didn't. I, you know, I my watched, eyes were kind of diverted. I was looking at a lot of screens but today. I mean, come on, Cardinal Jim, first place, best fans in baseball today. <laughs> that, I believe. Uh, I guess a divisional opponent, no t- less. Wasn't today a great day? I mean, the Cubs won, and the Brewers won. Who I'm totally rooting for. Until uh, <laughs> yeah. the Cubs catch the Cardinals, then I'll stop rooting. And then the Packers won, and then the Bears won. It and is. then yesterday, Iowa won. Oh, my gosh, what a great weekend. And the Brewers won. Yeah, Brewers and the Cubs both won yesterday. Hey, good job, Brewers. It is. Uh, <laughs> I'm a Brewers fan right now <laughs> because I, I don't want to I, – I, I don't. I want the Cubs to win the division. You're, and the only chance is they need help from the Brewers. Well, and I don't – you're playing with fire, Gene. I know, I know. That's the only problem. You're, you're going to ruin the day when you uh, announce you're rooting I, I, I know, for the Brewers. I know. I know. All right. Well, well, well that ends tomorrow. Well, Gene, uh, well, let's put baseball aside for oh, the I moment. See. Okay. Because uh, it is uh, the NFL. Wow. And uh, I'll tell you what, if you need material, you just look at the NFL. I was. A lot of material. It's really hard to watch a game on the ESPN ticker where it just play. It just says. Oh, fourth down uh, or third down, complete pass. And then five minutes go by and it doesn't refresh and you're waiting for it to refresh. And then they had Denver. Uh, I was like, oh, it's the last play of the game. Fourth and three at the Bears 13. And then they score. And I was like, oh. And then they said, well, uh, extra point, no good. I was like, all right. Not the optimal way to watch it, I guess. I huh? know. It's. I'd rather watch it live. If, but if only they had it on some sort of like screen yeah where you well, could uh, we observe get, it we get the chargers and the rams here i mean well, i'm just a regular cable just just, just hop on over to barney's beanery gene yeah there's a I place could, or uh, I, dylan's I, I, right? yeah i know i could over in hollywood should. yeah <laughs> Gene, you spend four fifty to watch the Bears lose. Uh, spend oh, twenty yeah, bucks. That's right. To get some soda at the oh, bar my gosh. and watch the Bears. Hey, may, may I say, uh, it's a good thing I bought my. I'm going to. I'm going to be in Green Bay next Sunday, and it's a good thing I bought my tickets ahead of time because tickets have gone up dramatically since nope. uh, the Packers. Everyone wants out. to watch the perfect season, but yeah. all right, we will talk about that. But later. I was smart. I'm not going to get burned twice like I did in the Bears the first game. Okay, All right, so um, yeah, have we even said the name of the show? It's the Midwest Sports yeah, Show. My name yeah. is well, Chris. Well, I've mentioned a lot of Midwest. And that's uh, Gene Steichen. Hello. And uh, you know what, Gene? We're gonna start off oh. with the Chicago Bears versus the Denver Broncos, Gene. I think the Broncos are not good because this game ended literally hours ago. Did you watch? So you watched it? So I I watched the the first half, Gene. That had to be ugly, right? And uh, same it? old Bears. Was Trubisky terrible? Same, same old Bears. Uh, he, he wasn't making a lot of throws. He didn't. He didn't have any interceptions. He's really good at that four-yard throw, like yeah, running. Yeah, that's. Oh my god. And then letting his uh, player, uh, you know, do the rest. Yeah. Uh, really, he, so I'm like, you know what? Uh, halftime started. You know what I mean? Halftime is 20 minutes. I'm like, you know what? Let me take a 30-minute nap real quick. That's my problem. My and th- uh, uh, yeah. watching that Bears offense, yeah, puts me to sleep. They're not going to be able to win like I that. I think it was like 6-3 to three or it something like six that. It was 6-3. And then how – then it was 13 thir- thirteen to 3, then 13-6. to six. I don't know. It was right, not so, a lot of uh, uh, So I guess, yeah, when I woke up, yeah, it was like 13-3. to three. 
Yeah, and the Bears did a great. scoring drive, and I uh, I did not I don't know did Trubisky do well on that? I, I he only I, he only had ninety yards to till right at the end of the game, so he couldn't have done that much. Yep, and then uh, Denver got the ball back with five minutes left, but threw a uh, interception in the red zone. So oh, uh, I didn't know that. Not good, not good. Or maybe it was uh, or maybe that was the Bears. I don't no, know. No, the I'm Bears. Not... I don't think he threw an interception. All right. thing. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe my notes are like incomplete, yeah. but. Uh, um, all right, and then Denver did score, but they missed the extra point. They missed the well, extra this, point. So this is the sequence of events. So they scored, right? Right. And it's 12 to 13. Yeah. And they're going to originally oh, go for four, But By the way, they had fourth and three on the Bears' 13. They got the first down. There was only there was less than a minute. Then they did score the touchdown. Yep. And so then, they were going to go for two, go for the win, right? Go for the two because it was 13 to two, 12. Right, right. Uh, but then there's like some sort of offsides or 12 men in the huddle or whatever. Right, and there right. was a five yard penalty. Yeah. So they, or maybe it was uh twice the yard line, maybe because yeah. it's less than so 20. Then they, uh, so then they went to kick it. He kicked it, you know, it was not good. Missed it. But the bears was offsides. Oh my gosh. And it wasn't anybody I knew, uh, any name. It was some, de- I don't know who it was. Some so, so, some, some human being, Gene, who's just trying to make it. Yeah, out of the I, I didn't team. recognize the guy's name. And well, you'll know. You, you listen to some radio tomorrow morning. You'll know him. Oh. St- and then they said, Bar- well, might be Bartman. Well, yeah. Steve Bartman, oh, maybe. Who knows? Steve Bartman. Bartman. Stevie is Barmanius. <laughs> He's a hero of my book. So then, then they decided to go, go for, for two. two. Yep. And b- boom, bada, boom. Two point conversion, easy. Devastating. Not good, not good. And they got thirty seconds left, and uh, Bears uh, get the ball back, and the hero, Mitch Trubisky, <laughs> leads them down the field. An ugly, ugly drive. Well, they they, they were with some uh, yeah, offs- roughing the pass, roughing the passer, yeah, uh, pass interference. And then some they other had stuff. Uh, third. They but he had- did he did make he did make a nice step up. Right on the last and play, did like a twenty yard throw or whatever. And that 25. was with that was their last play basically. They only had nine seconds yep. left. Guy got something. down with one second and somehow wow. they called timeout or whatever. And then the guy kicked Eddie Pinero. All this kicking stuff. Like a fifty eight yard. Uh, fifty three yards. I yeah, believe. there you go. Something like he kicked two past fifty today. There you go. Bears uh, no kicking problem. Who, who knew? Who knew that the Bears kicking would be the best part of the team? I don't. The most consistent part of I the mean, team. I mean, a great win, kind of. But wow, uh, nice comeback win. Red, uh, red, red flag saves uh, Tribby's ass once again. I mean, I don't think the oh the Broncos go to Green Bay next week. That's the game I'm going to be at. Mm, oh, good yeah. luck, Broncos. They're going to get there. Vic Fangio was a little exasperated. Was he oh. uh, at the end there? Uh, a couple of things, uh, a couple of other highlights, Gene. Yeah. Uh, before the game. Uh, the Bears quarterback said, I was told not to talk about the last game, meaning the Packers game. Oh, my gosh. He, he got so much criticism for that. Specifically, it's... Trubisky had been asked to go through a failed run-pass option against right. the Packers last week, and he turned to a team spokesman next to him and replied, no. Asked who told him not to discuss a loss to the Packers. He mentioned the spokesman amongst other people. He came off as a bit of an oaf, <laughs> which I don't use. But it's, it's just... Well, Gene... I don't know. You know, r- rule number one about being a Chicago Bear. Right. Don't talk about the Chicago Bears. All right. Okay. I mean, you don't meet with the media for a week after the loss. So they're going to ask you about some. He was pretty shaky in that first game. You know what rule number two is? Uh, don't talk about rule don't number talk, one. Don't talk about Chicago Bears. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't there? Is there three in number Club? number three? Yeah. If it's your, it's your first day at Soldier Field, right? You have to play. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That was always my favorite. If it's your first day in Fight Club, you have to fight. Can you imagine oh, like being nice. there for the, you're like some guy just brought you there to like check it out. You're like what? Yeah. They're oh. dragging you to the middle of the freaking thing. Mm. And all of a sudden, so it's you against freaking Brad Pitt. Wow. Well, they uh, <laughs> divert uh, disaster. What, what were we talking about again? Oh yeah, disaster diverted. Because oh yeah, Trubisky. He uh, still he only threw even with that long the last pass he threw for twenty some yards, which you know kind of saved him. But he only threw for one hundred and twenty yards. Not good. Yeah. So, Gene, I think we were talking last week. Uh, yeah. First of all, do you know who the backup is for the Bears yet? Do, have I we think it's Chase this? Daniel. Chase Daniels? All right. I believe. And then we were uh, posing the question, why didn't they draft, uh, you know, Mahomes or Larry? Yeah, uh, no, they could have Deshaun Jackson. Deshaun Jackson. Deshaun Watson or, or uh, Mahomes. And the yeah. answer is, of course, because those guys are blank. 
That's oh, that. That's the no. answer. And then I, I pose the question: Have they oh, ever had a God. black quarterback? You could not think of one. I could not think of uh, one. I we, think they had a backup. But one. Did I, I didn't Cordell Stewart wow. play for the Bears at one point. Slash. I yeah. I think he did. Right. Could have been. I don't know. Like when Kyle Orton got hurt, I think Slash yeah, is the that backup. Could have been one of their. Yeah. There you go, Gene. I know, Gene. I know the Bears better than the Bears. Wow. Know them. Hey, listen. Don't talk uh, about the Bears though. And and not only they took. Trubisky before those two, they traded up to get him, and they gave up a number one. It, I, I, it, it was kind of a, I don't know, low shape yeah, this so guy, far. This guy wasn't Joe Montana. Man, he wasn't paying pain. Because <laughs> with the you, Bears defense, if they have, and they have they have good receivers, a good running back, they have a lot of good guys. And if they had Patrick, you can't think like that. Oh my God, they like would that. win the next ten Super Bowls if they yeah, had a defense. They like would this. be pretty good, but they're gonna have to make do. At least they want. But they would have some good. idiot. Coach who would probably yeah. screw it up just like they got yeah. Andy Reid. Although I like Andy Reid, but let's face Andy it, Reed's he, he kind of does, can't so finish Matt it. Nagy. All right, and then let's just talk about the Vikings versus the Packers Good really job, quick. Uh, Green Bay. Vi- I was a little worried about this game, Gene. Well, Vikings defense looked oh, very, yeah, very yeah, good yeah. last week. Well, that didn't last too long because mm-hmm. the very first three drives the Packers had shove the right down their goddamn Viking throats, <laughs> their purple throats. Three, three touchdowns and the 21 first points, drives? like in the first uh, 10 minutes, correct. Wow. Where's the D, Gene? We, where's the Vikings D? Where are they? I don't did know. They sh- did, did they take the wrong bus? I, I, don't, I didn't see one play of it, but I. Did they take I, 94 West, not East? Oh, is that what you used? Yeah, that's, that's the bus, Minneapolis to Milwaukee, yeah. Yeah. Well, then I guess you got to take the 45 over to Oshkosh, so. Hey. Since I've been in Milwaukee, I was there again last week. Uh, construction, wh- where's the progress? Because, I mean, <laughs> wow. That whole city, yeah, they're, 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 their highways are massive. Well, they're, they're just trying to make it the most efficient to get to Miller Park every now. Okay. There you go. There, there you we go. go. All right. And then uh, Vikings kick a field goal on the first drive, but the miss, they miss. They have kicker Too bad. Problems. Yeah. Cousins fumbles twice in a row, which wow. the Packers, uh, he, he had two interceptions as well. Um, it looked pretty bad. It looked like it was uh, I, I, oh, gee, they're gonna yeah. turn the game off in Minnesota at one point. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but Devin Cook, oh Del, right. Delvin Cook broke a seventy-five yard run. Uh oh. And then uh, but the Packers did intercept the ball, so that was a good. But oh, the, so here we go. So did you see? Did you see this, Gene? I did not. There what was a uh, th- they they drove down the field. The Vikings did, and Kirk Cousins threw a touchdown. Like it was like four yards or whatever. And you know how they review every single touchdown play. Yes. So they review the play and then called a passive in uh pass I'm sorry. Oh. Offensive pass interference call because gonna... they picked it up and then they looked at some guy doing like a little pick and that broke the receiver. Are they going to start doing that? I so I I guess that's this is a uh, precedent. They can call pass interference on every play. So they can yeah, so they can look back at these plays now. I mean what what's next? Holding? Oh my I mean, God. anytime you're looking at a replay, you're just going to call. Oh, by the way, the guy's towel was untucked. Oh, that's not good. Huh? Yeah. His chin oh. strap was un- unbuttoned yeah. 15 yards. I don't like that. Nope. This is a dark. I mean, Gene, I, you know, Gene, I, I was uh, complaining about this last week, about right. this pass interference. I mean, they did take away that Vikings touchdown. So they took it away, and the Vikings had to get a field goal instead. Wow. That, uh, that turned out kind of important, yeah, didn't it's, it? It's, it's, it's not a bad rule. It's not bad. Mm-hmm. It's not bad. I like it. Once like that. I don't know. Once apply I, like that. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. All right. And then uh again, Cousins, it was like 16 and 21, and Cousins was uh driving with like five minutes left. Gets a little pressure, throws an interception in the end zone. Oh, really? Yeah. When they were down 21 16. They're at the eight, and he with five minutes left, that he just kind of threw it up. The lead? Uh yeah, because they were uh, up five, right? Oh down my five. gosh. So yeah, cousins could not just, just like Trubisky, cousins cousins could not get but it done. You, cousins, yeah, but the Packers they got to they when they they got to bury them when they got them. You got to bury those Vikings. Yep. However, the Vikings D kind of did make some adjustments, and the Packer, Packers did not look great for the rest of After the year. Uh, are you worried about them then now? What the Vikings? No Packers. Uh, that nah, was great. I mean, I mean two and zero. That's really awesome. When they turn it on, they can turn it on. The defense looks pretty legit. Oh, so. that's good. That's good. That's good. Analysis. That's important. Yep. And Kirk Cousins, uh, trouble. Yeah, not. Uh, he seems like he doesn't rise to the occasion. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. All right. Good job, Packers. All right. 
I'll see you next week. Noon game. So wait, so you're all right. We'll 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 do a week three oh, preview okay. in a moment right. here. But let's just okay. talk about this really quick. Well, talking. So the uh, the Browns are playing the Jets. It should be the Jets at the Browns. Mm. Um, pff, uh, Sam Darnold as mono. Have you ever there had you mono? Go. I don't. I. Uh, that's nope. weird. I never have. And there's How nothing do you, they can do. Is this guy going to bars and like kissing every girl I, like at 4 a.m. in New York? I, or something? I didn't even really realize that they said it's a kissing disease. I'm, I'm like, what what kind of girls is this guy kissing? But what? And is it? Why does it last so long? <laughs> <laughs> and it's why does cancer it? last so long? Oh wow! Well, yeah. Oh, good point. All right. All right. So, and a uh, lot of a uh, lot of talk. Uh, between these two uh, teams, Greg Will is Greg, Greg Williams is like what the defensive coordinator right yeah, for the, the Jets. Jets. Yeah. He used to be the coach. He was the interim uh, coach for Cleveland. And he did pretty good too. Uh, well, the newest Brown, Odell Beckham, not a fan. Yeah. He, Said that back in 2017 when his Giants took on the Browns in a preseason game, mm. Williams ordered his players to try to hurt Beckham, and those orders result in Beckham leaving the game with a high ankle sprain. Beckham said he got this scoop from players who were on the Browns in 2017. Whoa, are we talking J- Johnny Manziel or what? Who are we talking <laughs> about? And that the high know. ankle sprain he suffered led right. to a cascade of injuries right. that changed his life forever. Yeah. Mm. Well, uh, let me let me let me just tell you something, uh, Odell. Let me just uh, throw something out there. How about you and Brett Favre go cry in a pair of Wrangler jeans? All right, Greg Williams is sick of it. <laughs> it's called football. That's right. Right? Right. You tell him. <laughs> you think we'd seen the last of Brett Favre? Didn't he <laughs> say his <laughs> family tried to talk him back into... <laughs> say it. He could play better than Trubisky. You would oh take Brett God. Favre right now over Trubisky, right? I think so. I mean, if he can stay upright, he's, it looks <laughs> like he's in good shape. I don't know. I'm a little concerned about Trubisky and Kirk Cousins, actually, if I cared about the Vikings and all. All right. All right. So let's just talk about next week for football. So you are going back to Green Bay yes. for another game? Yes. I'll be there Sunday. I already got any, my ticket. Any mm-hmm. any particular reason for this? Well, I'm going I'm going to see the Cubs beat the Cardinals Thursday night to put the Cubs in first place. Really had a tough oh, there. Hey, uh I'm going back and then uh so I'm gonna see the Cubs play the Cardinals. I think Thursday. And then I'm gonna see my uh Alma mater, Hempstead Mustangs play Friday night. So I'm going to going to the Cubs game, and then I'm going to a high school game, and then I'm going to Disney on Ice with my mom and taking her, and then I'm going to go to Green Bay. So it just right. so happens they they're home. It's my uh, high school reunion weekend. All right, there you go. Yeah, sounds pretty fun. All right, and, so. and I bought tickets weeks ago. Uh, All right, so as I, you said, Broncos are playing the Packers. How much did you pay? I paid uh, with fees. It's about one eighty. All right, there you go. Way better. Wait, and uh, by game this week they'll be well over. I think they'll be up over two fifty or so. Did you check later? Yeah, with fees right now they're like two thirty because when StubHub really dinks you on the fees. God, Broncos are owing. And I got really good seats too. Yeah. I got a great. I only got one seat, but it's great. Yeah, the Broncos might be. I think the Vic Fangio era may not last too long. I mean, one year, one and done. Oh, and sixteen. Yeah, yeah. yeah Joey Flacco's got to get a couple wins in. Yeah, um, right. Oh, I wish uh, I was playing next weekend, but they're off. But they're undefeated as well, ranked number eighteenth in the country. Yeah. Yep. All right. All so, Cowboys uh, are great. Uh, so the uh, Lions played someone. Who Lions they won today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They played the Chargers. How they did on they TV. beat the Chargers? I guess it was the defense. I suppose. Yeah, thirteen to ten. It couldn't have been anything Matt Patricia did, was it? Uh, who knows? Okay. Um, she may have had some part, but they play the Eagles, who are playing Sunday Ooh. Night Football as we speak. Okay. And then the I Bears. Think, I think they're winning. I cannot confirm. Bears got to go to London. I think in a couple weeks they go what? to. I don't know what they where they do next week. And we'll talk about that in a second here. Oh, okay. Raiders at Vikings. So I thought didn't the Raiders kind of play a little good. They were today? losing. 20, they lost to the Chiefs, but uh, how, how much did? What was the final? I think it was twenty eight zero. I'm sorry, oh, no, 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 no. twenty eight ten. Do you know some guy? I, I Darren Ravel put so some guy made this bet in Vegas 
and he bet 54 points was they set the over under and every point it went over he got 2500 extra dollars per point oh, yeah. and every point it went under he had to pay 2500 so that went under by 16 points so wow. oops yeah don't do that yeah yeah 20, yeah well the, the raiders are terrible so why would you i don't know put that why would you yeah. have them score i don't know all right and then uh ravens do play the chiefs that should be a pretty good game uh lamar miller yeah, uh, versus, I, I, uh, the Raiders aren't. They can't be that good. I don't think. All right, so then, uh, blah blah blah. Packers are going to be big favorites, so they got to they got to you know. So Bears Redskins, Bears oh at the Redskins on Monday night. There you go, Gene. Just go wow. to. Uh, I make a whole weekend to, of it. Go to Chicago and see that game. No, it's in. It's I would if oh, it was in, in Chicago. In, oh, it's in DC. All right. Redskins are terrible, right? Aren't they? Well, hopefully you guys can you guys whoop up on uh, Adrian Peterson for me? Yeah, please? he he he. Uh, that uh, Bears got to win that game. So the Bears and Packers, sh- sh- Vikings will win. Yeah, I think. Um, yeah. All right. Does Trubisky play that game? He the whole game. He better. He's got to straighten himself out. He's got God, th- th- this win today. Uh, like gave him at least two more weeks. You yeah, think. yeah. Well, I mean, they got no option. Yeah. Say, hey, we, he won game two for us. That's, that's yeah. what they're gonna say. We had one pass. So, all right. So there you go. It's good to have the NFL back. Yep, it is. It's awesome. And in uh, uh, college too, uh, Wisconsin's undefeated, and so is Iowa. Showdown coming. Am I, I think, what? Yeah, what? Michigan? They're playing Michigan next week. So we have no. Fox. Oh yeah, Wisconsin, Wisconsin. plays Michigan. Wow. I might watch that. That's just... going to be good. I think Wisconsin's better than Michigan, I think. All right. Well, we shall see. Yeah. Well, yeah Wisconsin's only 14th. So yeah. Not good. All right. Well, Gene, uh, as we were recording last week's show on oh, Tuesday, my God. probably as the moment that we were recording, as yeah. we were probably talking about the Brewers, right. uh, Christian Yelich oh, followed the ball off the top of his knee. It was taken out of the game, and it's later revealed he broke the top of his kneecap. That sounds painful. Although he doesn't have to have surgery. I don't know what you could do for it anyway, right? Yeah, but I have no idea. But it sound painful? Yeah, it sounds pretty bad. Anything, yeah, when you're talking about that knee, yeah, not but good. But that's, that's the heart of a, a Milwaukee Brewer. They, didn't, did they, they went to Miami and won four straight. Uh, they did do that. They swept Miami, That's which amazing. Helped, helped them out. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, bra- uh, I'm sorry, Yelich will be out six to eight weeks. Mm. That means he could pl- pull a Kyle Schwarber and oh, be back for the, the World, World Series. Series. Yep. Wow. Do maybe the game-winning hit. Maybe I shouldn't be rooting for the Brewers. I can't. <laughs> I did today. Not good. Not good. Yeah. But uh, yeah. So let's just give an update on the uh, whole uh, wild card race. Pretty, pretty great. It's because uh, so, I kind of, I, I said I can't uh, be watching the wild card stand. Then it's like, who am I? I'm not above that. I should be happy the Cubs got a chance to go to the playoffs, even if it's a wild card. So now I'm all in. So while uh, the Brewers are sweeping uh, the Marlins in Miami. Yeah. Cubs not having a uh, not having a great series. Another terrible road series. Yeah, they lost three at four to Milwaukee and to, then to they lost. Pedro's. Yeah, Pad- then Padres. Padres they split, but Padres are terrible. <laughs> Gosh, Did Manny God. Machado have anything to do with those? No, games? he's awful. I I hey, listen. If you paid three hundred for Manny Machado, I'd be looking for out clauses. Be pissed. He's okay, but nothing. He's batting what two. 60 and 27 home runs or something and 80 yards. Nothing great. What do you? Oh, my God. He doesn't care if they win or not. No, that's why he he went to San Diego. Uh, He's he's like, yeah, no pressure to win because everyone's just outside chilling uh, on the weather. That's right. That's right. Uh, Yeah, that's right. So when Friday, when we come up to Friday, things are looking very interesting. And the uh, Cubs and Brewers are tied for the last wild card spot. Yeah. Yep. And uh, things are not looking good for right. the Cubs. Yeah. Things are looking really great for the Brewers. Well, funny how things flip around mm. in baseball because the Cubs come out a hit, hitting, hitting machines. Oh, my God. And win every single game against the goddamn Pirates. Who, uh, by the way, let's put some effort into it, huh? They, I've never, uh, and that's the most runs the Cubs have scored in a 15, three-game series. More than 15 each series. Yeah, they scored 17, 14, and 16, I think it was. Or 17, 16, 16. But most runs they've ever yeah, scored 14. since 1900. 
And I'll tell you something, the Pirates, what the hell is that? That, well, the, they're a mess. I didn't include this, but there was a story about people getting fights into fights. Like someone had like uh, broke their hand, yeah. like in the clubhouse of the pirates. They're terrible. Yeah, what Cl- the hell? <laughs> Clint Hurdle, but I know they're not very talented. Hey, Clint, keep on chewing your gum a little harder. Maybe that will fix it. Huh? It is. Oh yeah, and then they decked one of the Cubs. They went after David Bodie. They tried to hit him in the head, <laughs> and then uh, uh, he got tossed. I think Madden got tossed, but. I'll tell you, if you want to, uh, what else? It, there can't be a worse team right now than Pittsburgh. There can't, can and there? The Brewers are playing Pittsburgh for a three-game series. Oh, too. are you? Yep. Oh, well. So next they, week. I w- man. I, oh, boy. Meanwhile, the Brewers are playing the Cardinals. Brewers are feeling good. Yeah, that's right. Well, uh, Paul Goldschmidt hits a grand slam home I run saw that. in I the was third inning. a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and then I thought he hit another grand slam, but it was only a three-run home oh, run. My it takes a curtain call. Hmm. Hey, buddy, you, you didn't hit two grand slams. You hit a fucking That's right. grand Just slam that dugout. and three run home run. What, what is know, that called? What You don't know what the Brewers are made of, do you? You call that a Goldschmidt? What what the fuck <laughs> is that? What is that? That's not <laughs> a cycle. Yeah. Maybe you hit two run home run, one run home run. Then, yeah. then do your curtain call. Don't just curtain call for nothing. That's right. Where's the second? Where's yeah. the third grand slam? Huh? Right, right. Uh, well, Gene, that did not last too long because the Brewers come storming back the next two games. That's amazing. They lost Friday 10 to nothing. I was like, oh, no, St. Louis is going to sweep them. And then what? And they're playing so good. And then the Brewers went two straight. That's that's Against a really good Cardinals team. Re- re- good. They're, they're playing as good as anybody in baseball. And the cherry on the top, Ryan Braun hits a grand slam on the top of the ninth. Oh, did he? Down he got... one run. It was three to four. Ba- oh, my Bases God. loaded with two out. Oh, there are two outs? There's two outs. Two, three and two. Wow. Hits a grand goddamn slam, Gene. This is a team of destiny. Yeah, now now, now I'm thinking, uh-oh. You, I mean, that's how you do it. You, you, you use yell at and you rally. Wow. Rally the troops. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. Now I I said too many nice things about the Brewers, so yep. look out. it's karma. Yeah, it's karma. All right, and then Gene, bad news out of Chicago. I, I was like, I hey, at least it's not broken. Is Anthony Rizzo twists an ankle going off a uh, going for a bunt, I believe, right? Yeah, on that per- pitch perfect uh, turf of Wrigley Field. Oh, don't say anything. Well, they're using it as a dog park when they're <laughs> at their away games, that's or what's the, going on? That's here? the Bears. No. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they, that's a guy. Because I mean, Javi Baez. Yeah, look at Burr's lost Yelich, but Javi Baez is out for the rest of the year too. Oh, he's not. What his hamstring or what happened? No, with he uh, his thumb, broken thumb. Oh, really? He could play in the playoffs, I guess. All right, hairline fracture. But Rizzo. Oh my gosh, that I when and he was. I've never seen him like that. I, that I, I, not that I know him all his <laughs> life, but he was pained. Yeah, well, so what, he didn't break it? He just sprained no, it, they, high ankle sprint? No, yeah, they're doing an MRI tomorrow, but he's going to be. It looks like he'll be out for, I can't imagine. I mean, there's only two weeks left in the season. He's pretty important to him, And he's their leadoff hitter. When they scored all these runs this weekend, he's been leading off. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So, oh, well. Not good. Hey, the Cubs still got, uh, they got seven they got three against the Reds, and then the St. Louis comes into town for four. So hopefully, they can. All right. Yeah. Keep All right. It so going. let's 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 set up the next two weeks. Uh, Brewers play the Padres for four games. Oh, you play the Padres? Yeah. Man oh Machado come, they're, they're, coming to you, Wisconsin. Padres are a minor league team. They, they, Fernando Tatis, he's not even on. He's not even playing. Bring your coat, Manny. Yeah, Manny. A little cold I, in Wisconsin I bet these Manny's days. Manny's got his his contract. He doesn't have to travel <laughs> if the Padres yeah. are out of it. He if wants it's, to. If it's fifty degrees or less, he you'll doesn't notice play. when you play Manny, he doesn't care. <laughs> He'll get his one hit every three games. Yeah, he hit a home run once in a while, but yeah. Wow, so All you right. guys should clean up there. Nationals play the Cardinals. So either way, whoever wins that's going to help the Brewers and the yep, Cubs. Yep, yeah. Because Nationals play. have the first place. I don't think I think the Nationals are going to fade. In, uh, they're only one and a half up. I think they're going to fade. Cubs yeah. play the Reds for the next, right, uh, right. what, two games? Three. Three games. All right. Like Reds are frisky. They are. They're always frisky. Yep. 
All right, and then, uh, yeah, so this weekend, uh, Brewers will play the Pirates, and then Cubs play the Cardinals. You play the Padres and the Pirates. <laughs> yeah, they, and is. then we play the Rockies. The end, to end this, oh, there's another end, team that's going nowhere. Oh, we play the Reds and the Rockies. That's what I'm saying, Gene. Yeah, Brewers the got Brewers, a great chance. Yeah, they got, uh, they're going to lose like only five games. That's why I they, said. Uh, Brewers, sh- I mean, I'm telling you, you're playing two teams that couldn't care less <laughs> between the Padres and the Pirates. Wow. <laughs> yep, um, I spoke too soon. Can you imagine I, we win four games just like that, and you guys, yeah, you, you guys, I mean, the, are hey, you playing listen, the Reds? Listen, listen, the the Cubs still have to play the Cardinals seven times. Yep. So the Cubs could win the division. Hopefully, the Cardinals you could. Guys, obviously, so could the Brewers. You guys are both going to destroy yeah. each other. And and how about this? All three teams could miss the playoffs totally. Nah. Well, one team's got to make the central, right? Oh yeah. No. Yeah. You're right. I meant well, all two of the teams could. I I think I think two of the three will make it. One will be the one, hey only one because the Mets are only th- Mets are three games. Well, they're playing right now, so they're a couple games back. Phillies are Mets yeah. are three and a half right now as we speak. Milwaukee's one game, so Washington is one and a half. So yeah. there you go. Up on that, Chicago yeah. has got the last spot. They've won four. Milwaukee is one behind New York Mets, three and a half. Philadelphia four and a half. Probably not going to happen for the division though. Boy. St. Louis is two games up on the Cubs, yeah. three on the Brewers. You guys, uh, let's say you guys split. If we would, if you guys rather cu- have them split, or would you rather have St. Louis win most of them? I if if St. <laughs> if the Cubs if the Cubs uh, they got to win because the Brewers, yeah, wow, that schedule that's amazing. What you got? <laughs> yes, so I should put, I should put money on the Brewers like right now. Hey, it's pretty exciting. Good for you guys. Yep, should good be for good, the Brewers. Should be a good end yeah. here. All right, and then uh, of course you all will be able to live vicariously yeah. by watching and listening to the uh, the podcast. So yeah, we we'll have to Lucky put my high school. I think hopefully it'll be a good week. It'll be the biggest miracle is if my high school wins, uh, if they win Friday night because they're not good and they're playing the powerhouse Iowa City, Little Hawk. Oh yeah, so, didn't yeah. Iowa State uh, lose a big um, big game this weekend? Yeah, against Iowa. It was, uh, was college, it this week? Yeah, it was yesterday. Oh, okay. College game day. First time ever went to Ames, which is really exciting. And then Iowa won. They kicked a field goal late in the game. Good for Iowa. All right, there you go. I'm a big yeah. college fan, as you can tell. Well, you better be this week. Michigan, Wisconsin. <laughs> uh, I may actually watch that. Michigan, Michigan's, they're not playing well yet, so we'll see. All right. All right. Well, Gene, that will be. Uh, Very exciting. I think that'll be it. Yeah. What a show. I'll be on the road next week, so. I right, will have the pleasure of uh, Maybe Skyping. from Green Bay. I'll just do a remote from Lambo. Yeah, there you go. That would be great. Yeah. Is it, it's not going to be Sunday night, though, right? It's going to no, be Sunday? No, the game will be over at 3, but uh, the game will be over like 3.30. But I'm going to hang out there. So. All right, there you go. Just uh, You can uh, stand next to some puke, <laughs> some sausage. <laughs> Someone yeah. took a crab and some yeah. coals. Yeah. Keep, yeah. keep warm next to some coals right, there right. on the street. Yeah. All right. So, well, for... G- that's going to be wrap it up. Yeah. So awesome. for Gene Steichen, my name is uh, Chris Stotts. It's been the Midwest Sports Show. See you guys next week. Bye. We should oh. do it next Sunday.